Hello YouTube. This is going to be a quick video on ballasting your transformers. Um, what I've created here is a, is a simple rig that you could use to use basically any household appliance as a ballast for your transformer when you're doing arcs. Um, generally I'm not necessarily in favor of these too much because they restrict the amp draw but it at least keeps you from uh, resetting the breaker every two seconds. So what we have here is just a standard power cord coming in, stolen from a microwave of course, uh, coming into the box and then uh, power goes into the bottom of the switch and then comes out the top. Um, you know they say uh, power goes in the bottom of the switch and comes out the top but no one could ever give me a, an actual reason why. Um, I'm guessing only that's just because off and on position, but uh, that's what they told me in class anyway. And then uh, our power comes out of the switch and then into this outlet where the magic happens. Now, let me go grab a, a different outlet really quick. Any outlet that you purchase out of the package is going to have these little little brass, you know, you, you have your, your your top and bottom outlets are separated. That way, you, let's say you want the light switch on the top outlet, but you want the bottom outlet live all the time. What you do is there's a little tab here that you can actually break off and... Um, that separates the outlets. You, you break them off on both sides obviously for the neutral and the hot. So that's what we've done here on this outlet. We've separated the two and the way we have it set up is power comes out of the switch and goes to the hot. Um, brass screws are always the hot, silver screws are always your neutral. So power comes in the top of the outlet and then exits over here. Normally this would be a neutral, but what we have is a little jumper that, that runs underneath the outlet here. Um, so we come out back of the top, and it actually comes around to the hot of our second, you know, the bottom outlet, which then goes to our neutral, which connects to our wire nut here. And then basically what that does is um, we can plug any appliance that we use let's say I'm going to use a space heater for this example uh, 1500 watt space heater will be plugged in up here and then uh, power supply for the microwave transformer would be plugged in down here and then it's actually going to be drawing its uh, you know it's 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 current and amp you know through the uh, through the space heater so uh, let me get some tape around these outlets, or the outlet and the switch here, get it all put in the box, and then I'll come back and we'll uh, give a demonstration. Alright, here is a quick rundown of the entire setup I have going on here. Okay, so power comes in to the box we just made, and here is a perfect example to show you how things work. Right now, switch is in the off position. I have nothing plugged into the ballast, but I have what I am going to my transformer plugged in. Now, if I switch this to the on position, my lights are still dead on the on my control box. But when I plug in my ballast, oh, I plug it in the right way. I plug in my ballast here. Now I got my lights on and everything's working. But notice that I have this turned to high and everything turned up and I got no power and nothing's going on. That is because this won't power until I complete the circuit with the microwave transformer. So when I'm doing my arcs is when this is actually going to power on. So from there, 
into my box which will go to my plug here it goes into the and then that will go into my transformer uh, I have the case of the transformer going to this little piece of conduit I got sticking through the box where we'll do our arts and then uh, you know the little pokey bit on the other end so uh, let's do it eh okay so in she goes turn her on no hum from the transformer because again we're not completing the circuit until I touch the bar with the pipe so let's go ahead and grab the pokey bit and see what happens if I close it oh, space heater runs We're on and running now but what the fuck is that sad shit I mean is that a joke that's what happens when you ballast stuff WTF okay so we threw a couple capacitors into the circuit to see if that changes anything uh, but the lesson that we all learned here today is um, if you're going to use something as a ballast don't use a piss ass little tiny space heater excuse me like this because it's not going to do anything you need something that normally on its own is going to be drawing 10 15 amps um, but then that way you can at least use it as a as a current limiter um, but uh, I mean like this thing can't draw more than a couple amps even when it's fully going so um, this is more of a, uh, a how-to video than a, uh, hey, check and look what I did kind of thing. <laughs> so, all right, I'll plug her back in one more time. Hit our switch. Two capacitors added. And it's, it's just as sad as it was before. Now, let's give you a quick comparison, eh? Let's... Go ahead and uh, do this. So we'll unplug our main. Plug our box right into the outlet. Hit our switch. Transformer's humming now. That's what we wanted the whole time, man. Was that too hard? To... Oh, the fun switch tripped. All right, well, that was a quick how-to, guys. I'll try to keep some more content coming here shortly. Take care. Okay, so now that we got this set up here on the speaker, I can do it hands-free. So, the way we have it set up is power comes in. Now, I taped this already but there's really nothing to see behind here it's just really the two screws we have our hot that comes into whoops right here and then uh, it internally powers the outlet and then we have a hot coming back out over here to go to this outlet on the other side we have just the 